Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Fiona at Drawings in a Drawer. I hope you're all doing well and that you're feeling creative and productive. If that's not the case, I hope we can get those creative juices flowing together. Today we're going to be painting Beatrix Potter, the English author and illustrator and creator of the Peter Rabbit series. I think the composition in this drawing is very cute. I decided to draw the rabbit, mouse and goose not like the characters in our book, but in a more realistic manner because I wanted to project what was inside Beatrix's mind, how these animals living around her in the English countryside gradually transformed into Peter Rabbit and his companions in her head, but the true and first source of her inspiration was, as is the case, the case with every artist, the surrounding reality merging with dreams, the rational melting into the fantastic and the marvellous things it creates. I am not going to walk you through how I painted skin in here, as I did that in the previous videos, but if you're interested in seeing more in-depth video on how I currently paint skin, because that's changed over the past year, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm also considering doing a longer step-by-step -step tutorial on how I paint expressive portraits, where you can paint along with me on Skillshare. I already have a class in there called Women in Watercolour, but I think that's kind of dated now. I'm going... To keep it up there on Skillshare because I think that it's more suitable for beginners while this class would be targeted more at an intermediate uh, audience let's say. I believe the policy for getting a free access period to Skillshare has changed recently and it used to be two months and I think it's only two weeks now but it's worth a try as there's quite a variety of classes on there. Some are really quite good, some are, others are not so good, but as I said, there's a lot to choose from and I personally found it, find it handy and useful to have a lot of different classes all in one place, rather than to have to buy individual ones. Also, I haven't really made up my mind yet as to where I am actually going to publish this class on Skillshare on the expressive portrait painting process but I can't think of any other um, platform where I would do that or could do that. And I've been getting quite a few DMs on Instagram from people asking me if I offer classes. So since I've already in Skillshare, that's probably going to be the option I will go for. But if you have any requests or any comments about this, please let me know. So I will backtrack a minute here and I will say something about how I paint skin, but just a little side note, let's say. I, in my previous video, I discovered White Knight's Cadmium Red Light, which, unbelievably enough, I've had that palette, that White Knight's palette, for quite a while now. And I don't know, that colour looked, I don't know, too bright in a way. But actually, when I used it in skin for the first time, I realised that it was perfect because it's perfect for painting the blush tones in skin. It's such a bright, clean, cherry-like colour. So as soon as I started painting Beatrix Potter, I had this image in my mind of her as a child playing in the countryside, running around in the wind with flushed cheek and the very red lips of a child who's been eating strawberries and raspberries and any kind of edible berry, really. And that colour was just perfect for this purpose, for Luca was going for. And you'll see that, let's say, slightly later on in this painting. I've already used it here, but I haven't used it to its full force, let's say. So now let's briefly see how Beatrix Potter, who Beatrix Potter was, apart from being the creator of Peter Rabbit. She was a very intelligent, smart and avant-garde woman. Beatrix Potter was born in 1866 and educated at home by a number of governesses. Being born in an upper-class Victorian family as the daughter, she was basically brought up to look after her mother and to get married. That was supposed to be her role in life, the plan that society and its rules had in store for her. But Beatrix had burning passion inside of her and a thirst for life. By age 10, she was already very skilled at drawing and she would draw everything she saw around her. She was a naturalist, naturalist from a very young age and she was particularly interested in animals and fungi, fungi being mushrooms. She would write illustrated letters and she once wrote to her five -year -old, the five-year-old son of a former governess say she would tell him the story of four little rabbits. And that was basically the beginning of everything. Later on, she tried many times to get her books published, but she always got rejected. So in the end, she decided to publish the book by herself. Only after that, an editor decided to publish it, and that was the beginning of her success. The books were all small, so they could easily be handled by the small hands of children. 
She was also interested in every branch of natural science and began collecting fossils and studying archaeological artefacts. And she was particularly passionate about mycology, the study of fungi, mushrooms. She wrote an interesting paper about the subject, but was shunned because she was a woman. Her work is only now being properly evaluated, and mycologists still refer to her illustrated papers to identify fungi. Later on, she got engaged to her publisher, but that ended in tears when he died before the wedding could take place. To recover from the heartbreak, she moved into Hilltop Farm in the Lake District in the northern England countryside and later on married her solicitor. On this farm, she became an expert on sheep and farming. When she died, she left almost all of her estate to the Natural Trust. Her legacy is stronger than ever today and the magic of the world she created in her tale still lives on. I believe also that it is possible to visit the house where Beatrix spotted while Potter spent most of her life. So here is another amazing woman who didn't allow society to pull her into a tight little slot. A woman who refused to conform and followed her passion in spite of the obstacles of rejection and of hardship. Now just a little side note here yet again about painting the rabbit because this was I think possibly the first or at the very most the second time I have ever painted a rabbit and it was thoroughly enjoyable. It actually was also quite simple it's just a matter of layering in those browns in the case of a brown rabbit but it could have been grey too if it had been a grey rabbit and working wet and wet then letting the paint dry and when it's time to go in for those details those individual hairs you just paint hairs it's quite a repetitive and relaxing work to be honest and quite easy to do it's important to preserve that shine in the eye to make the eye look bright and alive and become the focus of the painting so that's all for me for today, my lovely people. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to join me for more videos. The next one will be up by the middle of next week and I will be starting a series which might be dedicated to Halloween. Do let me know if there's anything Halloween related that you'd like me to cover. Please check out my Instagram at the handle drawings in a drawer, all in one word, if you want to see all my work in one place. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. See you soon.